It's not easy to find. You have to drive down the road, past the fields, until you see Jerry Lineber's private property sign. Then on foot, head past the strange looking concrete thing until you see the graffiti covered opening. Even in the snow, it stands out. It is pretty dangerous in there. It leads to an old 1960s underground that's Titan hard. missile that's silo, Jerry's silo. silo, and he remembers seeing it when it was in use. Somewhere around 61, 62, right in there, where they had what they called the Cuban crisis. And well, I was just a young guy back then. Jerry took us to the silo, said he hates it when people sneak in. You can see there's been a lot of people down here. Okay, it is dark in there. We used a really good flashlight to find our way around. It's full of old equipment, wires and pipes now covered in paint from the hundreds of graffiti artists who have visited over the years. And you can tell there's been kids down here and they do an excellent job of painting. It's, uh, the artwork is just great. <laughs> it's hard to imagine looking at all the junk in here now, but at one time this was actually a functioning military facility. I mean, airmen worked here, they lived here. It was actually pretty nice. But when the Air Force didn't need all this stuff anymore, the silo sat empty. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've been in here. And that's when Jerry's dad bought it. So I actually didn't know what he was gonna use it for. So now he's stuck with it. The guy's gotta watch his foot. After walking in a ways, you come into what used to be the generator room. In the dark on TV, it is difficult to show how big this really is. We're actually up in the air. It is a giant domed room that has the feel of a high school basketball gym. You stand about halfway up on a mesh catwalk and hope you don't fall down. It is a long way down. It's a dangerous place, and Jerry is worried somebody will get in and get hurt. Scare me. Or worse. When you're a kid, you don't think of those kind of things. It's all fun and game to them. It's obvious lots of kids and some adults have been in there. You know, we don't know what all goes on down here. There's, there's a lot of, uh, I, you know, I sometimes think there's a lot of drugs that go, takes place down here. Uh, you know, I just don't know. The massive room is all painted up. We know people from Strasburg have been there. Apparently some Columbine students too. All kinds of colorful signs and symbols from people all over. Many who heard about this adventure online. But trespassing is against the law, and 30 people were arrested here just last month. Jerry says soon, no one will be going into the silo. He's getting ready to cover the entrance and close it up for good. It's been a pain. Um, we have people coming in here because of the liability that's involved in this thing and, and, uh, and, uh, and keeping people out, and it's a pester to the people that live here close by, so, uh, so we're gonna seal it up and, and, uh, uh, to where nobody can get into it. Even Jerry admits it's sad in a way that a piece of U.S. history is going to be closed off, but understandable. Soon you won't be able to get through the iron bars, past the concrete silo cover, through the fields, just down the road. Gary Shapiro, 9 News.